Welcome to another episode of the Headlight Restoration Pro. This episode will be a continuation of this video here, which is about taping these headlights up or taping any headlights in general up the proper way, like a professional, like the pro. Okay. If you're not taping your headlights properly, you're just asking for a lot of trouble in the future, if not present. Anyways, take them from this and turn them into something like this, perfection. Uh, the other video was all about taping. This one is about how I got them so beautiful. Stay tuned. Come in, over. Let's get down to business. Okay, as is suggested in the precursor, uh, this is part two of two of this video here. It's part two to this, um, where the first one I showed you the importance, or better yet, uh, how important it is to tape things off or tape your headlights off properly. See how beautiful this tape job is? Um, you know, it's like a cast, okay? It's more like a cast than just a regular tape off. Why? Because I don't want to fix nobody's shit. I don't want to create a problem. I don't want to come to the job scene talking about, you know, I'm going to I'm going to put your roof on, but then I have to replace, you know, what I'm saying your AC. Like it's just counterproductive. You're working for free, and in most cases, a scratch removal on level that's going to happen from a hand sanding and especially a machine sanding is going to be more expensive than a headlight restoration. It could be double or triple or more. Okay, so you're gonna end up doing the headlight restoration for free, you finish the job, and then have to pay for their bill when they go get that shit fixed because you don't know how to do it. I know how to do it. It's easy for me, okay? But I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna create work for myself, so what do I do? I tape off properly. I don't worry about it. Like, why worry about it? I'm gonna be a professional about it and I'm gonna do what it takes to protect the person's vehicle. If it's my grandma, if it's my brother, if it's my, you know what I'm saying, whoever, if it's, it's my neighbor, if it's a customer, if, if it's, you know, I'm gonna do them all the same no matter whose vehicle it is. And it's such a relaxing feeling, you know, I can relax uh, when I know it's done properly. I can focus on doing my work and like, hey, if some little weird shit happens and, you know, I get distracted, uh, some, you know, something happens, a dog comes and barks at me or, uh, you know, the, you know, person comes out and watches me and I get nervous and something I'm happens. I'm watching you. It's okay. Just cast it off, you know. I'd have to almost be trying to purposely sand off this tape to damage this vehicle. All right, um, this is also taped in excess, and I chose this video to uh, do this about is because you see all these turns and dips and curves all over the place. These are the lights that are gonna be more prone for you know throwing the drill or throwing your hand if your hand sanding um, further than the actual headlight. Okay, with uh, hand sanding, you're gonna have more control um, you know, because you're using your hand as the only source of power, but at the same time, you have to get so involved into it when you hit those edges. If you notice a lot of hand sanders, they don't get the edges too well, okay? Because it's, 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 those are the hard parts. With a machine, it's not that hard. You just have to make sure that you're not grinding on the tape. But um, even with hand sanding, you can be going and you go a little too far and mistakes happen. If somebody who has done 10 headlights by hand or by drill said ain't any kind of mistake happened, they're either taping off like this properly or they're lying to you okay you know what I'm saying or it just hasn't happened yet there's only three scenarios and it will happen believe me you do enough and these things will come up it's um you know you have to think that way and if they don't come up it's because you've been that good with your um protection and safety first always safety for yourself first and foremost right Secondly, safety for your customer's vehicle, your, their property, because I want somebody to work on my vehicle as if they're working on their vehicle. I want somebody working on my mother's vehicle like they would be working on their vehicle, you know, if they have the mentality that they love their property, that they want to take care of their property and cherish their property, right? I don't want some fool working on my shit, putting one piece of tape around the whole headlight, right? Probably dogging everybody's car out, right? 
and, 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 and you know, and a lot of a lot of cats will just do it, and you know, they'll hope that the person doesn't see it, or the person who doesn't see it later. Hopefully, they see it later. They don't say nothing, or they don't care, whatever. Uh, the admiral thing in that uh, field, if something happens, is hey, uh, you know, I messed this up here. Uh, you know, what do you want to do about that? You know, blah 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 blah. Just to be honest with it, um, myself, I've you know, I'm 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 me. I'm the Headlight Restoration Pro, okay, and I provide those services. People that mess up people's cars, or if they mess up their own, I come out and fix. They call me to come out and fix them where I'm from, okay. So it's not a big deal with me, and I've actually, you know. You know, found some things before, like I did see it and uh, pulled the tape off. It was like, oh man, look at a little piece right there. And I tell the customer, hey, this little something right here happened. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out. It's gonna take another 10, 15, 20 minutes. I'll be working on the spot right here. And it sucks though, because then if you have something to do after that, if you got lunchtime, it's hungry, or it's just getting hotter and you wanna quit, or it's gonna start raining or something, you kind of compound shit because you didn't want to tape off right but even when you tape off right like those times that i did still things can happen okay you're working with power tools you're working with a sand grid that will um tear through stuff but if you're using the right tape okay which is auto finish tape is designed to help stand up against stuff like this when you're using other tapes um you know they fell short by uh either being able to stand up to sanding um, a lot of people like to use the blue tape, which is a painter's tape, which is designed to stand up to sanding, but it's also designed to stick to a less finished surface, okay, which means that the tape is stickier, which means that the tape is harder core. Okay, which means it's gonna to bond to the paint harder. It's gonna be harder to peel off, okay? Which means you are putting yourself at risk of peeling off clear coat. Now you're dealing with vehicles from any denomination of years of vehicles, any denominations of life, meaning that just somebody's traveling a lot, somebody parks in the garage, somebody parks outside the whole life, uh, somebody drives 10,000 miles you know, a month or something, any kind of scenario where that clear coat might not be the same in you know in that vehicle as the last one so uh, you know I've done it before where clear coat peels off and where people's uh, clear coat isn't as healthy and you're using this uh, tape this foreign tape this masking tape this painters tape that's designed for uh, stucco and designed for drywall not a finished paint surface it you know obviously think about it a slick finished paint surface right versus tape that is designed to sit on a wall, on a drywall, on a stucco, over a, think about it, one's going to be a lot stronger in adhesive or adhesion. Uh, so you don't want to use, you want, that's why this tape or all this tape that you always see me using is green. Why? Because it's automotive finished tape, ladies and gentlemen. You want to use the right shit. This keeps it safe, and this is what it's designed for. And once again, uh, when it comes down to using the right stuff for the right stuff, right? If something were to happen, you'd be like, shit, man, like, my bad, like, hey, like, I used the proper shit. Look at this. Here's the, here's the receipt, or here's what I used, right? It's right here. Here's the label. Here's this. It's auto finish tape. Let me show you what auto finish tape is. This is what auto finish tape is and what it's supposed to be done. It's the proper thing. It just something that happened with your shit. I didn't do anything wrong. Your shit was just weak. You know what I'm saying? But if you're like, oh man, what the fuck? Damn, man, I didn't, I didn't want this. I paid for my restoration and you, you peeled off three inches of my clear coat. What am I gonna do, right? And then they're like, well, what did you put on there? And they're like, yeah, put this blue tape on here. I put this blue tape on here, bud. This is what I use. This is what I use all the time. And then he's like, right, let me see that blue tape. And he's like, you show him or whatever. And then he reads in there, he's like, painter's tape for this and that by Scott's or some shit, right? And then he goes in his phone, goes inside. Okay, let me, I want to I see something. And he looks it up or something, looks it up in front of you or whatever. Is it this is here it says it's, it's for, it's for a house. It's for housing. It's for, you know, it says to be used on drywall and this and that. Why are you using shit to use for drywall on my car, man? I need you to pay for that. You fuck my shit up. Now you have a problem, right? Because he's going to have to get that shit clear coated. What are you going to do? You just go buy some clear coat and spray it on there? It doesn't work that way. You don't know what to do, 
right? <laughs> what are you going to do? Are you going to get a quote from an auto body, ha- arrange all that? And, you know, theoretically, I mean, you're supposed to arrange all that and take care of all that. But more likely, he might want to. And you don't know where he's going to go. He might go to, you know, say this is a Subaru right here. He might go to Subaru of, of, of Florida or Subaru of wherever the hell you're at, right? And you already know the dealership is going to jack everything up. They might be like, oh, we need to do this. We need to do that. It's going to be $800, right? Now what? Now you got to go out there and do like five headlight restorations just to pay for his shit and still be out money in a time, right? So it's like, you know, then what are you going to do? Shut down or you got to, I mean, he's going to leave you all kind of bad reviews and shit. You know, or it's just a bad situation. Like, why would you want to go through that for 10 cents of tape? or an extra five minutes of taping off. Like, be responsible, people. You got to do this. You have to do this if you're doing headlight restoration. I don't care if you're doing it by hand. You have to do this. You have to do it properly, okay? Or you're just some Joe Smo running around doing headlight restorations, got a piss poor, uh, you know, track record online. People say you're messing up their shit and all this like that. It's going to come out eventually, and you're just not going to have the business that you want. You know, you're not going to have the reputation, you know. I have uh, a solid five-star rating over multiple uh, platforms, okay, from the biggest one in the world to smaller different ones okay solid no, nothing no no he got my car it's that nothing but like written great reviews okay you know praising my work because i am good not only it's not only because i'm good okay now all the haters say oh my god he's so full of himself whatever let me tell you this just like bruce lee said in an interview once if i was just trying to be funny and told you i'm no good I really can't do this. I'm no good. <laughs> you would know I was bullshitting you, right? <laughs> exactly. So therefore, I am good. Okay. So anyhow, um, you can't just, you know, it, it's not just about how good I am or not. Whatever, whatever you fucking think, right? It's not just about that. It's not just about I'm the best or I'm not the best or I'm so good at this or whatever, right? Because of my raw skill, okay, because of my raw ability and intelligence and and uh, training and all this stuff like that, and, it, you know, and a th- thousand lines or whatever the hell, it's not just because of that. It's because of my mentality and business mindset, and it all boils down to the mindset of do old school values, do unto others as, uh, you know, you would want done to yourself, Okay. When I want somebody to work for me, I want them to do the best they can do. They might not be the best in the world. I want you to do the best you can do. I want you to be honest. I want you to, you know, treat me with respect, treat my property with respect, do what you know you you should be doing. When somebody puts one piece of tape around their headlight, you know, God dang well, you should be, you know, God dang well, you should be doing more than that. Right. When you when you got somebody out here doing headlights, they're polishing headlights and they have the means and the knowledge to do a better headlight restoration and they're doing the shitty one on my headlights. I expect more than that out of you. Right. So that's what I do. I work like it's my own car. If I go outside right now and do a headlight restoration on my car as a perfectionist that I am, it would be the same method, the same exact things I'm doing on this light or any other light I did. No matter who it is, if they're pissing me off, if they're sitting right there watching me, if they're praising me, if I don't like them, you know, or whatever, um, you know, whatever the case may be, if they look at me ugly, if they talk to me crazy, whatever, it just, it's business is business. Okay. If it was too bad, I would just be like, I'm not, I'm not doing your headlights. Go fuck yourself. Right. But you know, business is business. You got to draw the line from everything else and hold your own personal morals and standards. Okay, and that will shine through into your work. Okay, when you're just slightly lazy, you don't care how it comes, and don't care about this property, and I'm just here to try to do this in 10 minutes and make a, you know, 10, 15 minutes and make a good buck, make make 100 bucks in 15 minutes. Like, that is the shittiest mentality you can ever have doing any kind of job. Okay? Um, you know, time is the essence of everything, and and there's other things and factors that you got to worry about. But, you know, everything shines through to your work. If you want to be better, if you want to be top-notch, if you want to be on the highest level, you know, you have to do more than just have uh, skills to do it, okay? 
But with that being said, look how beautiful this is already. Not one coat, not one drop of clear coat on here, on this headlight. And look how perfect it is. Why is that? I try to explain it every, you see on my shirt right there? It's 90 plus five star reviews. That's what it says right here. But, you know, with what I was saying is not a drop of clear coat. And it's that clear. What does that mean? Those headlights are gonna function above function level or peak function level above it. Okay? It's gonna it's gonna function the way the factory designed it to function. They're gonna project light, they're gonna throw light. Okay, there's a bunch of videos I have up that'll explain to you why people spray coat their headlights when they're foggy. It's a th cheap thrill and they really don't understand the mechanics or the science. And they're not educated in headlights. They're not educated in how plastic works. They're not educated on the transparent plastic, okay? They don't know, okay? So they do it because it looks so cool that it's foggy and then I spray it and now it's clear. It does look really cool but it's bullshit, okay? You have to spray your headlights clear to make them work properly. If you don't, they won't work properly. You're, using, you're losing probably a third, anywhere between a third of your headlight to like 25% of your headlight, 15% of your headlight. You're, you, that equates to yards, 10, 30, 40, 50 yards. Okay, a lot of light, okay? Because these are projector lights. Any kind of light that you have is gonna be projector light, HID, whatever, they're de they might not be projector lights, but everything else around them are projection boosters. They, so in a sense, the unit is projection light, meaning it projects. Project means throws lights, throws something, throws the light out there. Okay, when they're sprayed foggy, you you've already messed up, okay? So see how clear mine was before I sprayed them and now look at them. Beautiful, beautiful perfection. And this is not giving it justice because the sunset is in the background. The Highlight Restoration Pro, come on over. The Highlight Restoration Pro, come on over.